a high. Another update on the tree growth. Regardless of the weather, the, the, the ups and downs in the weather are serious due to global warming, the extreme weather patterns affects trees and the production. This is a solution. It is the key insurance, this vertebra grass symbiotic relationship planning with the tree. Thank you. We've got thousands of videos. Once again, thanks for your support. The 14th of the 1st, 2024. At least this is unedited real. We're in a, the, the plantation that we're doing a major reference trial of the symbiotic partnership. Look at the fruit now held for that trees and the big thick fronds, all with no chemicals. The moisture level, this is now in rainy season, monsoon season in Sabah, Malaysia. And this, this, we're in a very rainy period, this particular part of Sabah. And there's flooding and, and, and a, lot of, um, a lot of this water logging, water logging, which over a long period of time, it can really affect the tree growth and slow down production because of the damage it does for flooding. But this is the power of vertebra grass. It is an insurance, a green insurance policy that in droughts and floods, it really makes a difference. And the combination of actually, the, the, the combination of sucking up like blotting paper. One of these vertebra can suck up 45 liters, roughly a day per day. So it'll drain the swamp so much faster and better than any other plant. So, and in summer, in, 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 in drought, in, in heat, right, it actually sucks up the nutrients and minerals and all the elements and the moisture. So it brings moisture. And when you're in a drought, sometimes it rains. It might rain for afternoon, once, you know, every week or three weeks or whatever. This is where this grass really succeeds because the water that runs off normally because of hardened ground, the chemicals are hard... Look how beautiful this grass is. This vertebra, vertebra bamboo grass, the, the, the Chrysopogon Z90 is the species. Now this is a very big mature one. It's, it's now finally um, falling over. But this is the nature of the real genuine living vertebra, which, which you see now we trim these. We were gonna trim today, but it's raining. Our workers say next week, uh, next sad, uh, Sunday, We'll be coming to this same plantation and we're going to be harvesting the leaf and using it as a mulch okay so we've we've experimented with lots of different uh, uh scale sizes of planting from bamboo shoots to the bulbs little and to these more mature ones which are now growing over a few months they've expanded um in, in, and and because deeper the roots faster look at the that was a very sickly tree that's well videoed that's like a, 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 the plantation owner agreed with me the other day it's 50 percent increase to 60 percent increase just in a period of a, a, about four or five months later. so we've done all this research of these trees with uh, 8 12 and 16 vertebra grass ring and then we've got the ones which are touching the actual uh, touching the edge of uh, sorry the trunk because the water from a rain when it's when it's actually a what you call a, a drought period. Droughts are very really suffer the trees. Extreme weather creates further fungus and disease uh, related to uh, the nutrient loss of dilution of, of fertilizer and especially droughts and floods. Now even under a normal situation, it's all subject to the soil um, situation. Uh, but organic is not the same as chemical. And, and the combination of fertilizing on a regular basis with a high-end pure organic food like, like SOS um, or any other high quality pure organic fertilizer, which is very little to none out there, especially for a strong enough for palm oil, which is a real industrial commercial crop, you know? So what I'm sharing with you now, this is one of the solutions which are gonna be the key breakthrough in the future. One day, the majority a uh, high percentage of every plantation owner in the world will have the same technique of organic fertilizer and the use of this vertebra grass, which is the this insurance for floods, droughts, and even in premium weather and premium conditions, it's gonna create more yields without the chemicals, without the chemicals. See this tree deliberately left in the between these ones plant because we're still fertilizing them. And even without the vertebra, 
the fertilizer itself brings amazing results but in a in a flood or let's say a drought it's this tree is going to be the fronds are going to be high and, and in, a, in a drought it could be one week it could be one month it could be three months we've suffered everything here in the summer and and you know what the world's situation global warming is huge problem so what i'm getting at this tree the vertebrate tree even though it's organic this organic tree will look better and grow better than a chemical tree without the vertebra and they just simply have mulch which is a bonus but not everyone's got mulch available to them right so what i'm getting at but the one with the vertebra they can ex take every extreme and they're going to grow better so we are dealing with a symbiotic partnership and this whole video is about the insurance value see this tree was deliberately not planted yet for that very reason i just mentioned okay this tree is this has only got see two up close to the actual trunk for the tap root and we got four just three around the, the, the rim of it how powerful is that love it's powerful because we are in this research but the results are absolute and they're growing bigger and better and once again uh this is in early days but it's enough success for us to expand globally and us to expand in multiple countries which we are going to do and we are planning because this technology we really understand vertebra we are vertebra technology solutions and we've got a youtube channel with over up to date 3,200 videos which are all related to our fertilizer and vertebra they're all related we've got 55,000 videos in archive of vertebra grass it's going to take us years to upload our current videoing is going to improve and volumes are going to go higher because of editing we're so busy we don't even hardly edit but we are doing good thumbnail or better thumbnails they need to be improved we are just a young channel so we're very thankful and very excited because when people see results without chemical and, and they start experiencing the extreme weather fluctuations, that's really where this miracle grass, this is the vertebra grass, the vertebra bamboo grass. That's the, the real genuine. See, look at the shoots and how they expand from one cluster, one bulb into multiple bulbs. And you've seen the potential of these big ones, which I showed you earlier. They can grow huge. Well, that's about as big as they can grow. And we can strategically cut them right down to three inches and have all that biomass, all that beautiful, powerful uh, uh, mulch that can go onto the grass, onto the trees, which we're going to be showing you next week. And there's, there's another beautiful example of, of a big cluster. Now, of course, you imagine the deep roots, how much energy and how much faster. they The roots can go down to... 15 meters in one year these roots of these because of our fertilizer especially sos was made for this grass will go down two meters plus and and then i'll go three meters plus so they're they're drought intolerant they're absolutely insured guaranteed never to die when everything else is dead these will be green and lush and bringing all that nitrogen fixing atmosphere bacteria and, and nitrogen from the atmosphere this is a sink pad this is a big area there where it's flooded you can see now it's a wet patch now that's going to soak up all of this water that's only young there but they're all growing now they've got deep roots they've only been planted for about two months now. just bamboo shoots but mainly all bamboo but now they're really taken off all of these are uh, major clusters as you can see in these bigger ones here look soaked with water this is a real plantation as you can see when I say real, real flood, um, sun's coming out. But even if the sun comes out and doesn't rain for three or four days, it'll take three or four days or five days for this water to go away because of plantation. Oil. But even in that period of time can do damage and create a reduction in FFB production. It all is subject to multiple things, but in drought, it sets back and, and, and hurts the tree and affects the tree. Look at that beautiful cluster there. So this is a really, and all these young ones here. Okay, you can see here by this, we've got literally hundreds of trees. This is, uh, I think 5,000, 6,000 uh, trees that we're just about to finish in the very near future of this project. But we're starting another plantation five times as big as this. And then we've got other ones which are literally hundreds of times as big as it. 
So by that stage, uh, our results are going to be phenomenal. Once again, thank you from Virtua Technology Solutions. Thank you for subscribing this young channel. There's that beautiful planting around the edge of the tree. That means that when water goes and the fertiliser goes straight in the taproot, this really makes a massive difference in, in consistent uptake of water and nutrients.